Vikes, I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Quick caught up with more on a student's perspective perspective and how they stay safe at home. What's up, Vikes? Today I'm here with Carter to learn more about a student's perspective. What have you been doing to keep productive? Well, I've been working a lot. What have you done to keep safe at work? We wear masks and we sanitize everything all the time. Other than work, what have you been doing to keep productive? I tend to keep up with my schoolwork. Anything else you'd like to add? Nope. Thanks, Carter. Stay safe and have a great day. Thanks, Quinn. Now onto your daily announcements. If you want to be a member of the Writing Center, then you must fill out the online application by May 1st. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Sands. Since the school's closed, since, since the school's closed, gatherings on the school property are not welcome. Seniors who wish to participate in the graduation ceremony as, as speakers must complete this application by Friday, May 1st. This is a reminder that applications for Viking Crew are due today. It has been pretty rainy outside. Let's go see Josh after this quick commercial break. Happy Friday! Widespread showers and thunderstorms will continue right on through the rest of today. Thunderstorms most likely during the afternoon with a temperature near 60 degrees and then will fall slightly to the mid to upper 50s later this evening. But notice this is just rain. I think the thunderstorms will shift out of our area at that point and that'll leave us with just some light to moderate rain showers and this all should move out by around midnight tonight and then our skies will start to clear and that's going to set the stage for a perfect start to the day tomorrow sunny skies morning temperatures quickly rising from the upper 40s to in the low 60s by 11 o'clock in the morning and then we'll make it into the upper 60s during the afternoon but notice there is another storm chance late tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Here's how it looks on future radar by five o'clock tomorrow. It's just some isolated thunderstorms across eastern Kansas. None of this is particularly heavy or widespread, but your location could get under a brief downpour again late tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. We're trekking the potential for some isolated thunderstorms. Now early next week, here's a look at the weather pattern and you can see a big ridge of high pressure as indicated by those red and pink colors. That's going to move in some warmer air to our region. And check this out on the SBTV 7-day forecast. We're in the upper 60s through the first half of the weekend. Most of Saturday is dry. It's not until the late afternoon and early evening that the storm chance moves in. Sunday should be dry with a slight chance of a few showers Sunday night. I think most places miss out on that. And then we'll stay dry on Monday, a high of 73. Tuesday, a high of 75 with some morning thunderstorms. And then later next week, we stay pretty warm with highs in the 70s. And it will be windy coming up on Wednesday. So that is your latest weather forecast. Thanks, Josh. Here's Madison on how to support a local business. Golfing at a local company called Great Life is an easy way to get exercise during the quarantine. Here are some precautions they took for social distancing. One person to a cart, no cash, uh, limited access in and out of the clubhouse, sanitizing the carts after they're used, uh, 
you don't take the cups out. There's little things in the bottom of the cup so the ball doesn't drop down there, so you can just grab it out. Uh, we took all the rakes off the golf course, just, just as much no touch as we can. Getting drinks, snacks, and more from the pro shop and setting a tea time is looking a little bit different now. Of course, you can always make tea times with us, but then you can call in right now and do the entire transaction if you need a card or need anything over the phone. And you can go right to the card and you don't even have to come into the clubhouse. Depends on the location and what the situation is. If, if you call in and order, we can have it sitting on the card, but it, it's kind of limited. You may ask yourself why you should go golf and support a local business. Well, here's why. It's just great to get out, get some exercise, get some sun, do some family time. Signs have been posted everywhere in their buildings, and you can get current updates on their social medias. Putt-putt and foot golf are not open. The ranges were closed, but the governor's most recent update, when she extended two weeks, said the ranges were okay. So we did open Safari at North. Great Life Fitness is also closed, but make sure to go out and support their business by golfing or going to the range. I have to go golfing soon. Have a good day, Vikes.